G'day, I'm Jamie from Australian Images. Following on from my recent HDX comparison, today I'm going to be comparing the Firelight Nemesis to the Lightforce Genesis LED. Once again, in the interests of full disclosure, Firelight have asked me to do this comparison. They gave me the Firelight Nemesis lights a few years ago, and I'm still using them, and they've loaned me the pair of brand new Genesis lights for this test. They also provide my son with some go-kart sponsorship. However, Firelight have not had any input into the testing content or procedures. As with previous tests, there will be no manipulation of the video or test photos and the raw images, with all their data intact, can be downloaded from the website. The Lightforce Genesis is a replacement for the LED215 I've tested previously. It's a 100% LED light, comprising 37 4 watt LEDs. The LEDs operate at 5000 degrees Kelvin, which is the same as the old LED215s. They come in at $1340 a pair and work with both 12 and 24 volt vehicles. The Firelight Nemesis is 210mm in diameter. The light source has a colour temperature of about 3400 degrees Kelvin from its 250 watt 24 volt Xenophot globe. The lights include transformers for use with 12 volt vehicles. The time of making this video, the recommended retail is $995 a pair for the 12 volt versions or a few hundred dollars less for the 24 volt model. Let's see how these lights compare out on the road. Beginning with the Nemesis out on my regular country road. As you may have seen in previous videos, the Nemesis provides huge amounts of illumination and excellent colour and contrast from the 250 watt halogen light source, lighting up the road and the edges for well over 500 metres ahead. On the wide setting, which I'm using here, the lights deliver two large spots with some overlap in the centre and enough peripheral light in combination with the headlights at closer distances. Transitioning over to the Genesis LED, and as you'd expect, there's a huge change in colour due to the cool white LED light source. Again, there's no shortage of light output and the road and the sides are well illuminated for over 500 metres. The colours all look a bit strange though, and this is backed up by Lightforce's specs, which list the Genesis with a relatively low colour rendition index of 70. This compares to around 100 for halogen lights like the Nemesis. Switching over to a split screen with the Nemesis on top and the Genesis underneath, you can see that there's very little between these two lights as far as raw lighting output goes. The Genesis has slightly more light at the wide end and a smoother fall off from the centre towards the edges, while the Nemesis delivers longer range with more light at the mid to long distances. I've mentioned before that I'm not a fan of cool colour temperature driving lights and the Genesis is no exception, showing here the vast difference in colour rendition between it and the Nemesis. If you've seen the previous comparison between the Nemesis and the LED215, then this is all going to sound quite familiar, because performance-wise, there's very little difference between the old LED215 and the new Genesis LED. Make no mistake, for an LED light, the Genesis is at the top end of the spectrum. It's well made and it produces plenty of light with good highway range. But that can't help but overcome the natural deficiencies that come with a cool LED light source for highway driving, being the inferior contrast and in colour compared to halogen lights such as the Nemesis, particularly when there's any moisture or smoke present in the air. Taking those factors into account, I can only repeat my conclusion from both the LED215 and HTX comparisons that installing a pair of Nemesis lights plus a pair of small LED light bars for off-road work will deliver superior lighting every time and save you money as well. Thanks for watching. There's plenty more information including downloadable images from the testing on the Australian Images website.